हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विद्या पाटिल असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन शरद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग यड्रा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू दिस अवर लेक्चर ऑन प्रेशर वेसल्स एंड इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द गैस्केटेड जॉइंट्स प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन गैस्केट जॉइंट अनफाइल्ड प्रेशर वेसल्स एंड थिकनेस ऑफ द सिलेंड्रिकल एंड स्पेरिकल प्रेशर सेल्स how to calculate thickness of the cylindrical and spherical pressure cells okay uh, we start from a gasketer joint before that uh, we see the what is gasket uh, gasket is a device which is used to create and maintain a barrier against the transfer of fluid across the mating of surfaces of mechanical assembly it is used uh, in static joints such as a cylinder block and a cylinder head there are two types of gaskets metallic gaskets and non metallic gaskets gaskets metallic gasket consist of sheet of a lead copper or aluminum and uh, non metallic gaskets are made of asbestos cork rubber or plastic metallic gaskets are used for high temperature and high pressure applications okay here uh, in gasketed joints here we see Uh, there is a there are uh, one example for that the bolted assembly of a cylinder cylinder head and a gasket as uh, shown in figure 22.11 here we see the bolted assembly where the cylinder cylinder head and the gasket are joined with a bolted joint here initially the bolt is tightened uh, by means of a spanner and to induce a preload p p1 here and uh, the stiffness or a spring constant k of a machine element is a uh, load required to produce unit deflection here the ratio of the load to the deflection produced by the load is given uh, when the machine member is loaded in tension or uh, in compression here delta deflection is equal to uh, p uh, pl divided by a and k is the stiffness is equal to P divided by delta is equal to A divided by L. Here, the stiffness of the bolt is given by K B is equal to pi by four divided by T square. That is area of the bolt and E divided by I. Okay, where K B is the stiffness of the bolt in a newton per mm, and D is the nominal diameter of the bolt in mm, and uh, L is the total thickness of the part held together. by the bolt in mm and is the modulus of elasticity of the bolt material in newton per mm square okay here there are three members are a, a grip of the bolt that is a cylinder cover cylinder flange and the gasket and uh, these three members are uh, in a compression spring in series that's why the their combined stiffness is a kc and it is calculated by their series that's why Uh, one divided by K C is equal to one divided by K one plus one divided by K two plus one divided by K G. Here K one and K two are the stiffness of the cylinder cover and the cylinder flange respectively, and K G is the stiffness of the gasket. Then again, uh, in figure twenty two point eleven, we assumed uh, that the hollow circular area, that is here hollow circular area, uh, that is three D. and uh, small d is the outer outer and inner diameters of 3d is the outer diameter and uh, small d is the inner diameter respectively and is under the grip that time the area is equal to pi by 4 3d square minus d square that means area a is equal to 2 pi d square here k is equal to a divided by l so area we put the value of area a is equal to 2 pi d square into e and divided by t and, and k is equal to 2 pi d square e divided by t here t is the thickness of the member under the compression when the gasket is very soft and relative to flanges it is gasketed that is compressed during the tightening of the bolt in such cases the flanges are neglected and uh, the stiffness of the gasket is considered to be kc when the bolt is tightened with the preload p1 and uh, the bolt is elongated by amount delta b 
and uh, two flanges with the gasket are compressed by, uh, by an amount delta C that time uh, delta B is equal to P1 divided by KB as equation A and delta C is equal to P, uh, P, P1 divided by KC as equation B. Now here uh, the diagram figure 22.12 is given where the deflection diagram uh, for the voltage assembly as is shown where uh, in x axis they show the deflection and uh, y axis they given the load here uh, p1 p and p max the uh, load are given and uh, here uh, deflection of the bolt deflection of uh, uh, flange or deflection of cylinder cover is uh, given in uh, x axis and the angle between the angle theta is given between them here uh, in this uh, load deflection diagram uh, line OA represent the elongation of the bolt while the line CA, CA indicates the compression of the flanges and the slope line of the CA is a negative because it indicates the compression. When the cylinder is assembled and put into the service, it is further subjected to external load that is that external load is PI and uh, this uh, external load is PI and uh, this operating inside the vessel and the effect of this PI is as uh, that the bolts are further elongated by an amount delta and there is a corresponding increase in the bolt load which denotes the delta PI and this is represented by the line AB here line AB and the compression of the two flanges and the gasket is uh, relieved by magnitude of delta and uh, there is a corresponding reduction in load and uh, the reduction in load uh, that is pi minus delta pi which is represented by the line ad ad where since the kb is the delta pi divided by delta and uh, the dividing these two equations c and d we got delta pi is equal to pi in bracket kb divided by kb plus kc the, the resultant load on the bolt is given by P is equal to P1 plus delta PI. The effect of the gasket on the bolted assembly can be explained uh, with the help of these uh, above equations and which can be expressed uh, in following manner that P is equal to uh, P1 plus PI uh, in bracket 1 divided by 1 plus KC divided by KB. Here, uh, when there is no gasket and uh, flanges are more uh, rigid than the steel bolt, that time KC is always greater than KB. Here KC is the stiffness of the gasket uh, or a uh, flange or a flange and uh, uh, KB is the stiffness of the bolt. When KC is extremely large uh, compared to KB and the expression within the bracket has a limiting value of a 0 that time p is equal to p1 which indicates that almost all the external load pi is borne by the flanges to relieve their initial compression and this will lead to leakage between the two flanges when there is a, there is a gasket of the elastic material that time kb is greater than kc and here that means the stiffness of the bolt is a greater than stiffness of the gasket and kb is too large compared with kc and uh, this expression within the bracket has limiting value of the one and p is equal to p1 plus pi which indicates that the major portion of the external load is borne by the bolt and uh, this is desirable for the leak proof, leak -proof joints here uh, uh, we, if we refer the figure number 22.12 again the elongation of the bolt will continue along the line OA. OA as the operating pressure is gradually increased and the limiting point is M point where the compression of flanges becomes zero and the joint is on the verge of opening and the corresponding load P max, P max is given here that is corresponding load indicates the capacity of the cylinder to bear the load that's why here p maximum here the two triangles that is triangle o a and g 
and triangle O, M, and C are similar triangles. Okay, and uh, from the geometry of the similar triangles, here the ratio of AG divided by OG is equal to MC divided by OC, and here AG is the P1, AG is the value of P1, OG is the that is delta B, and uh, MC is the P max value, and OC is the delta B plus delta C that is deflection of bolt plus deflection of uh, deflection of the flange or deflection of flange. So P max is equal to P1 delta B plus delta C divided by delta B. Okay. Uh, substituting these expressions A and B, we got the value of P max as a P1 KB plus KC divided by KC as the equation 22.28. Now we see one example to related to that. Uh, here, the cover of the cylinder pressure vessel made of cast iron, as shown in figure, and the inner diameter of the cylinder is 500 mm, and the internal pressure is limited to 2 MPa, and the cover is fixed to cylinder by means of 16 bolts with a nominal diameter of 20 mm. Each bolt is initially tightened with preload of 20 kN and the bolts are made of steel of a material Fe uh, 250 uh, the L strength is given 250 Newton per mm square and uh, assumptions are given for uh, modulus of elasticity for steel, cast iron and zinc as a 207 kN, 100 kN per mm, mm square and 90 kN per mm square respectively we have to determine the factor of safety for uh, bo bolts and for that uh, considering effect of the gasket here the diagram for uh, um, figure number 22.13 is given uh, for the reference here uh, now for the solution first we note down the given data uh, first for the cylinder the values of uh, in, inter, uh, inner diameter uh, in, inner pressure is given 2 MPa for bolts uh, for bolts diameter small d is equal to 20 mm and uh, number of bolts that is 16 number of bolts are used uh, and uh, L strength is equal to 250 Newton per mm square and uh, P1 is equal to 20 kN. In first step we have to calculate the stiffness of the bolt okay and for that purpose we use the formula for the stiffness of the bolt that is KB is equal to AE divided by L and uh, area is, of the bolt is equal to pi by 4 d square so uh, area diameter of the bolt is given 20 and uh, modulus of elasticity for the material of bolt that is 207 and uh, uh, divided by 50 okay so we got the stiffness of the bolt as a 1182.38 kN per mm now in second step uh, we are going to calculate the combined stiffness of flanges and gasket. Uh, for that, first we have to calculate uh, for the uh, stiffness for the uh, flanges and then for gasket. And for that, K1, K2 are the stiffness for the flanges. And for that, uh, we calculate by using formula A divided by T for the flange and putting the diameter of the bolt and uh, flanges uh, material for the bolt. Uh, we calculate uh, the stiffness for the uh, flanges that is k1 k2 is equal to 1053.10 kN per mm and now then uh, we calculate uh, the for the zinc gasket then uh, kg is equal to a divided by t area by 2 pi d square divided by t into e uh, by putting these values we got the value of kg here but after that we after calculating the stiffness for the flange and gasket we combine that stiffness by using this formula that is 1 upon kc is equal to 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon k2 plus 1 upon kg and after that uh, we we calculate the value of kc here that is 4500 to uh, 23.9 kilonewton per mm in the next step uh, we have we are going to calculate the resultant bolt load by put, using this equation 
which is this formula kb divided by kb plus kc we got the value of t sorry we got the value that is 0 0.20 uh, 2072 and uh, we got the load load volt load that is p1 is equal to 20 kilo newton but we require uh, uh, pi for per volt so we calculate for per volt that is uh, 24543.69 newton and uh, the resultant load on the bolt uh, is given by equation 22.27 uh, that is p is equal to p1 plus pi kb kb divided by kb plus kc and putting these all values we got the value of p that is resultant load on the bolt okay after in last is we calculate the factor of safety for that by using the resultant tensile stresses in the bolt uh, uh, by using the resultant load p divided by pi by 4 d square we calculate sigma t that is tangential stresses or tensile stresses uh, uh, tensile stresses and by using the formula for the factor of safety that is syt divided by sig sigma t we calculate the factor of safety as a 3.30 now we see the unfired pressure vessels this unfired pressure vessels is defined as the vessels or uh, pipelines for carrying storing or receiving steam gases or liquids at a pressure uh, that is above the atmospheric pressure and uh, such pressure vessels are designed according to national and international codes and uh, for that uh, the design procedures for the welded pressure vessels that are made for uh, ferrous materials and subjected to internal pressure from 1 kg of per c, uh, cm square centimeter square to 200 kg of per centimeter square uh, for a uh, small pressure vessels with the diameters less than 150 mm or uh, water containers with capacities of less than 500 liters do not come under the scope of this code and uh, the code does not include steam boilers nuclear pressure vessels or hot water storage tanks okay this uh, construction for the welded pressure vessels is uh, shown in figure in uh, figure number 22.14 uh, these there are four categories of welded joint here as shown in figure also that is a b c and d the term category defines only the location of the welded joints in the vessels and never implies the type of welded joints here they shows the locations and the welded, jo welded joints included in the uh, included in four categories uh, are shown in figure that is category a category b category c and category d here we see in, uh, in figure uh, the category a is for uh, longitudinal welded joints here category a uh, is for only longitudinal welded joints within the main shell and uh, communicating chambers and the nozzle circumferential joints connecting the enclosures to the main shell uh, any welded joints in the spherical or formed head as shown in by category a next is a category b we see see here for the category b it is for circumferential welded joints in the main shell and communicating chambers or nozzles uh, category c is for uh, welded joints connecting flanges and flat heads to the main shell here we see the category c and uh, for category d welded joints uh, connecting uh, communicating chamber and uh, nozzles to the main shell here we see the category d this is the unfired pressure vessels these uh, unfired pressure vessels uh, are classified into three groups that is uh, three groups are class 1 group class 2 group and class 3 group uh, this class 1 group uh, pressure vessels are used to contain lethal and toxic uh, substances and uh, they include the poisonous gases and liquids and they are they are dangerous to human life for example hydrochloric acid uh, carbonyl uh, chloride or mustard gas okay these uh, class 1 pressure vessels are also used uh, when the operating temperature is less than 20 degrees 
and uh, these two types of welded joints are used in this vessel that is double welded butt joints with uh, full penetration and a single butt joint uh, with packing strip okay and this class in class 2 uh, pressure vessels are those which do not come under the class 1 or class 3 categories and the maximum thickness of the main shell in this case is limited to 38 mm and uh, the type of welded joints in class 2 pressure vessels are the same as those in class 1 and uh, however in class 2 pressure vessels the welded joints are spot radiographed uh, in class 3 pressure vessels are used for relatively light duties and they are not recommended for the service when the operating temperature is less than 0 degree or more than 250 degree the maximum pressure is limited to 17.5 kg per centimeter square while the maximum shell thickness is uh, limited to 16 mm and they are usually made from the carbon and low alloy steels. Welded joints in class 3 pressure vessels are not radiographed. There are three terms related to pressure uh, pressure are used uh, that is working pressure, design pressure and hydrostatic test pressure. Okay. Uh, the max, uh, working pressure is that which is permitted for the vessel in operation and uh, it is the pressure required for the processes that are carried out inside the pressure vessel. Uh, design pressure is, uh, uh, is uh, the 1.05 times of the maximum working pressure and hydrostatic test pressure is 1.3 times of the design pressure. Okay. Next is the uh, thickness of the cylindrical and spherical shells. Here the main equations of the thickness of the cylindrical and spherical shells are based on the theory of thin cylinders. Uh, in cylinders, uh, this is uh, some modifications are done and the thickness of the cylinder shell subjected to internal pressure as uh, shown in figure 22.16. We see that uh, the thickness uh, is equal to pi di divided by 2 sigma t efficiency minus pi plus ca and the thickness of the spherical shell is given t is equal to pi di divided by 4 sigma t efficiency minus pi plus ca okay where t is the minimum thickness of the shell plate in mm pi is the design pressure in mpa or newton per mm square di is the inner diameter of the shell in mm sigma t is the allowable stresses for the plate material in newton per mm square and efficiency is the weld joint efficiency and CA is the corrosion allowance in MM. Okay. These allowable stresses for the plate materials are obtained from the, the equations that is uh, tangential stresses uh, uh, is equal to yield strength divided by 1.5 and ultimate strength divided by 3. The factor of safety that means uh, 1.5 or 3 in above exponentials is used in two conditions that is first condition is that the pressure vessel is operating at room temperature and the second condition is pressure inside the vessel is not fluctuating okay for high temperature applications the values of allowable stresses uh, at the design temperatures are given in standard format here in table 22.2 here the commonly used carbon and low uh, alloy steel's values of the yield strength are given in this table. Okay. In this session, we uh, in this session we cover the gasketed joints related to an example of that and unfair pressure vessels. There are uh, three classes and the thickness of the cylindrical and spherical pressure cells. Okay. In next section, uh, we uh, we see the remaining part of the pressure vessel okay thank you